<laughs> okay, so good morning, Community for Exceptional Minds. Uh, we have a very, very special guest who's agreed to do this with me because it's someone who definitely shares my heart for students of individuals with autism, students of you know different um, ability levels. So um, I wanna introduce you all to Bill. Um, do you prefer that we call you Bill or Mr. Briscoe? Yes. Who do you prefer? Yeah. Always, Bill. I know you always say that, but I, every now and then I'll just refer to you as Mr. Briscoe because it's, oh, it's yeah. just my my nature. <laughs> no, no, when we're, we're in a professional setting, which this isn't. This is a casual. This is a casual setting. We're in community. It's Bill. Okay. Yes. Okay. So. Again, just a reminder for everyone joining us today, um, our, our heart and intention for this channel is, um, yes, it is an additional resources for my students with disabilities, but it really is a resource for everyone. Uh, we want everyone during this time of COVID-19, coronavirus, quarantine, however you call this season, uh, we wanna have a way to connect with people that we love. Uh, we wanna be able to build a community around you and to just to encourage you that this season, do not let the season take away the connectedness that we as That's human right. beings need. So community and connectedness. Um, I have a very special friend who has agreed uh, with a little bit of twisting his arm. Would you say that? Oh, no, I don't think <laughs> <laughs> who has agreed to join us on a weekly basis, maybe more than that, um, just to be able to provide um, his talent, his strength, um, and his heart. So he has an incredible talent for music. So we have a special um, musical episode for everyone today. Um, but I just want to quickly introduce my good friend, Bill. I've had the pleasure of working with Bill for several years. Um, I also had the pleasure of knowing Bill when I went to high school, when he was a teacher. <laughs> and um, Date Bill, myself here. <laughs> Bill, well, I'm only 20, so come on. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Bill is the kind of teacher that will show up at a student's house, knock on a student's door if he hasn't seen them in a while, ask them what they need as far as how he can better support them. He knows the families, he checks in with the families, but um, Bill has a special, special heart for um, students with autism and students who just have a different way of learning. Um, Bill makes learning fun. Uh, working two doors down from Bill, uh, we just did the most fun things with our students, fun things with our classes. Every Thanksgiving, we would have a huge Thanksgiving feast. Um, our classes would cook together all day. Um, Bill would have a special time where he would just play the violin for our students. And uh, we just always wanted to create for our classes the sense of family. And I think we did that so well. <laughs> and yeah. I, I miss that the most in working with you, Bill. Um, but I think something else that I just want to share as far as your heart for the students and you just, you had a way of making, making everyone feel so loved and so special. So you had um, a different, you know, handshake for I think every student that you had. <laughs> But for for some of our students, you would do this handshake where you would point at them and then you would spin. I'm going to spin in my chair. You would spin in a circle and then you, <laughs> you, would, you would point at them again. And oh, students would just light up and you would meet them when they got off the buses. So um, I think if I could say anything about my good friend, Bill, it would be not only does he have an incredible God-given talent for music, not only does he have an incredible heart for people, um, especially those who just learn in a different way, um, but you have an incredible gift of making people feel loved and special. So I just want to welcome that for um, anyone who needs to feel loved and special. Um, I just, I, I want to bless you with my friend Bill today and every week. Um, so Bill, do you have anything that you want to share after that introduction? You know, it is such a blessing to work with teachers like you and parents like I have in my classroom mm -hmm. who have one thing in, one thing in mind is how best to teach their students. Mm -hmm. um, because every student is, it's fertile ground, but how, to, how do we get it to grow? And that includes everything you know, from, from those that have an intellectual disability to those students who are autistic because they learn different ways. Boy, boy, they learn differently. 
And when you hit that, when you hit that nerve where they start learning, it's like step back, you know, and, we, and for me, the gift was I got to watch them grow, not because I gave them anything, because they finally understood how they could grow. We just got to give them, we just show them the path they need to take, you know, and, 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 and then inevitably they always, they always progressed at their level and they love to see themselves progress. Mm-hmm. You know, when they see themselves, then they want to go to the next level. They, the behaviors start diminishing somewhat and they start, they start becoming part of the community because that's the whole point. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't have a student with special needs and I don't know what it's like to have a one 24 hours a day, but I know what it's like to have them for five hours a day for five years, right? Or five years in high school where I, I get to have them on my family, mm-hmm. you know? And, and so I extended family is Teresa and all the other teachers However, they can interact. Some don't inter- don't want to interact as well because they have their own thing going on. But they do come out and they still participate. So every student in our program benefits from it. Most most importantly, I benefit from it. Mm. Okay, so I just uh, yeah, I, I I I retired last year, but I'm still, as you see, I'm still doing what I'd like to do best. Yes, and that's and that think, interacting. Yeah, I think checking in with your students, um, the way that you would check in, they just, they really did feel loved. And I think, you know, a lot of us as teachers, we feel that we need to, you know, separate our heart from the students. Of course, we need to be wise. We need to be, you know, careful with what we share with our students, but to make them feel loved, I think as long as we have a heart that wants them to grow, they do feel loved. And I think you just, you communicated that so, so well. Um, So knowing that we're going to have you on a weekly basis, maybe more and every now and then a little bit less, because I know you're, you're probably busier in your retirement that you were when you're working, because that's just who you are. But um, knowing that we're going to have a lot of time to be able to just really pick your brain and just and really grow from your wisdom. Um, I wanted to allow this episode to just be all about music. So would you be able to play a couple? Oh, and there's your cat. Oh, this is Riley. Say hi, Riley. Hi. <laughs> what, are you doing, my, what are you doing to me? This is my dog on the floor. <laughs> He's joining us as well. <laughs> violence, so, violence, these are not made out of cat gut, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Um, what, okay. what songs do you want to play for us today? Well, what would you like me to have you play? You, you oh, want to wow. hear amazing, amazing Grace? Sure. Yeah. No, there's, there's, okay. there's, but can I share something about Amazing yes. Grace first? Yes. Because, um, yeah, definitely. Uh, Riverside, go for it. Yeah. So you heard that too. So this Sunday is Easter Sunday. And I know everyone joining is, you know, we have different, um, different ways of honoring our faith, um, just different ways that we connect with, you know, whatever gives us strength and peace during this time. But in my city, um, our mayor has actually encouraged anyone from all walks of faith um, to go out on their front porch or outside of their front door if you live in an apartment. And at 12 noon this Sunday, this Easter Sunday, um, to go outside and sing Amazing Grace. So I love that you're going to do Amazing Grace because I have to, I have to remember the words. (laughs) It's like one of my favorite songs, but I need to remember the words. Um, So if you could play Amazing Grace, that would be amazing. I was, I was saying, because, you know, music does things in, in, in our heads. It's a way of talking without having to use words a lot of times. And, and so when you, when you hear a song like this, it's both happy and sad. Mm-hmm. So you listen, listen for the, they call it the differences in the song. How does it make you feel? Because that's what music's supposed to do. It's supposed to, it's supposed to make you feel a certain way. Mm-hmm. So when you hear this song, think about how it makes you feel and the reason the person that wrote the song wrote it. He wrote it to make you feel a certain way, and that's probably what exactly what you're gonna feel. So here we go, Amazing Grace.
Yeah. Love now, how did, that make you, how did that make you feel, Teresa? It made me feel connected. Yeah. In a way that I really miss. <clears throat> yeah, it, may, it always makes me feel, I want something from this song. It makes, it makes me want to feel, I feel a certain way, a, a, a sadness and a happiness. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I, and it, yeah. it, it's interesting that you can actually feel the two emotions at the same time. Because yeah. for me, mm -hmm. it brought about joy because music brings me joy. But mm -hmm. it also brought about kind of a sadness because we- A, a yearning, a, yearn, a yearning, right? Yes. We used to do this for our kids all the time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I sing to my kids all the time. I don't claim to have a great voice, but I sing to them all the time. And I sing to my son and my dog and, you know, all around the house because it's something that brings me joy. Yeah. But I don't have the musical talent of playing an, an instrument for the kids. And I, I wish I could provide that for them. So it does make, it brings me joy, but it also brings me a little bit of a sadness because I wish I could do that in a yeah. greater extent. Um, but you bringing that into our lives today, that's, that's just perfect. That is perfect. <laughs> well, you know, there's, there's every, every denies that they like Barney, the Barney show. Yes. Uh -huh. I don't, hey, you get ask any high school student, did you watch Barney when you're a kid? No, I never watched Barney. No way. But, 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 but if I played the song, the Barney song, they all kind of, they all start smiling because they remember the Barney song, right? And this is the song. Again, I'm not going to say a word. You let me know how it makes you feel at the end of the song. Okay, ready? Sing this time, Miss. You ready, Teresa, to sing? Okay, I don't remember the words though. I love you. You love me. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. We're one big happy family. Ready? Ready? Go okay. a little slow. Mm. I love <laughs> See, how did that love make it. you feel? <laughs> huh? That made me feel happy. That made me feel so happy. And it, it made it made millions of kids feel happy every time they turn that show on because it was a happy mo it was a happy show. It was. It was, about, it was about it was about what's going on. You know, mm -hmm. how do you handle things in life? Right. And so you know, it, it, kids remember those kinds of things. I did. And the, you know, the most interesting thing is that it talked about such adult things. Yeah. Right. That, right. In a way that was so relatable, just like you know, Mister Rogers. Obviously, one of my role models. That's why I wore all of my sweaters every day at work. <laughs> but um, you know, the way that the way that these different programs were able to reach kids of all ages. I mean, kids mm -hmm. who are five years old or younger, kids who are fifteen or older. Um, they're reaching these kids with right. very adult topics we're going through the news we're going through things that make us happy and sad because we all have those feelings but teaching us how to pick up the tools to navigate through these seasons um, yeah. do that so well <laughs> well how about this one how about this one this is one where a song if i ask you what the original words were you forget what the original words were what you remember okay. is the alphabet oh okay <laughs> oh yeah see if i if i go twinkle twinkle little star how i Oh, I forgot the rest of the words. Oh, but A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. See, some songs actually help us learn too. Right. They help us learn the most important things in our life, how to count, how to do the alphabet. Then we learn how to read, learn how to talk, you know. And so, it, it, real simple one. It was one of the, it was the first song I ever learned the violin. It was go. <laughs> Well, you part, some it, of the Twinkle Twinkle song. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, but it, 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 but it transcends, you know. And and, and songs songs help us to um, to memorize things. 
because mm -hmm. it's so important to memorize things like how about this one another the second song i ever learned was this <laughs> And and so I I don't even know what the words mean, but I memorized the words because they helped me memorize other things that I needed to learn, how to talk to people. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and so there's songs like that. So songs make us feel a certain way, mm -hmm. happy or sad. They make us want something sometimes. They help us to learn how to how to do the alphabet. They help, help us to learn how to memorize big, long, long things. I bet you a lot of a lot of the students out there, when they hear a song on the radio uh, by by Mariah Carey or somebody like that, they can say the words, sing in rhythm and dance with them, everything else like that, because they memorized it. Right. Mm -hmm. About how many how many of you guys watch Go Noodle? Yeah, Go Noodle. <laughs> Go Noodle is another one because they do the same thing. They use your body with the music, with the words that you remember. Because music's so important for all of us that way. What else? What, what else was? Want me to play a real sad one for you? Sure. Okay, yeah, here we go. And I, I do want to say that I think a lot of a lot of people are feeling sad during this time. We are in quarantine. Yeah. And you know, even even the ability to go on a quick walk around the neighborhood that's taken away from us because it's a rainy day. <laughs> so well, okay, I think I a little... lot of us are just feeling sad, and that's okay. That's okay. That's... This song's a good segue because this song was written a, a good segue with segue, well, a good way to move into something else. Um, this song was was written for a, a set of movies they made about the Civil War. Civil War was a sad time too because we're kind of at war right now with the virus. We're trying to fight something that makes us sick, so we miss each other. And this song has the same feeling because these 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 people that are out there fighting this war were missing each other because they couldn't be with their families. Mm -hmm. So watch how this makes you feel and compare it to where you feel now because we're far away from each other. Thank gosh we have this thing called Zoom and YouTube where we can connect. Otherwise, it'd be even more so. But here it goes. It's called Oshkosh, Oshkosh Farewell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful. It's one of my. It's one of my most most favorite songs. Mm. You know, and uh, so you want to hear another song? Can we end on a happy note? Yes, we can. Okay, <laughs> so let's play a happy song. <laughs> oh, let me tune this thing. It's not. All right. Sometimes you use music to dance. Yeah. <laughs> up, the, the, the Irish the Irish love to dance. So let's play an Irish song. Like there we go. Loved it. That's how it thinks. Okay? Loved it. Uh, well, Bill, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we hope to see you next week, maybe even sooner. Um, is there any other know. words that you want to share with our students or anyone else joining our community for Exceptional Minds today? All you, all you kids and students out there, because even if you're over 21, 22, 23, or 65, I'm a kid. We can all learn and learn to love music. So listen, listen with your heart and you'll know what it means. Okay. Love that. Thank you so much. Uh, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and just thank you for the heart that you have for our students. Um, thank you for everything that you're able to share with us and just using your God-given talents. Um, and we will see you next week. Okay. I want to, I want to try to do your, um, your, your handshake with my swivel chair. Ready? You can always point and then. <laughs> Okay. 
Thank you. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. Thank you again. <laughs>